Europe's landscape is dotted with an array of UNESCO World Heritage Sites, each echoing the past civilizations, cultural dynamics, and architectural marvels that have shaped the continent. These sites are celebrated not only for their exceptional beauty and historical significance, but also for their contribution to our understanding of human history and natural wonders. This list of top 10 UNESCO World Heritage Sites in Europe is curated to offer insights into the heritage that defines and enriches our world. From ancient ruins that stand as a testament to human ingenuity, to medieval cities that continue to captivate with their timeless allure, these sites are indispensable for anyone interested in the legacy of Europe's diverse cultures. Here's a look at the top 10 UNESCO World Heritage Sites in Europe you need to visit. Number 10, Mostar. Mostar, in Bosnia and Herzegovina, is renowned for its old bridge, Stari Most, a symbol of the city's historical periods of division and unity. The bridge spans the Neretva River and connects two parts of the city, embodying the reconciliation between diverse cultural, religious, and ethnic groups after the Yugoslav Wars. Rebuilt in 2004, it is a replica of the 16th century Ottoman bridge that was destroyed in 1993. Surrounding the bridge, Mostar's Old Town features cobblestone streets, traditional shops, and historic buildings that reflect Ottoman, Mediterranean, and Western European architectural influences. The area is notable for its multicultural heritage, with significant landmarks such as the Koski Mehmed Pasha Mosque and the Old Bazaar Kujun Zaluk. These sites offer a glimpse into the city's past, from its Ottoman roots to its present-day status as a symbol of coexistence and cultural diversity. Mostar's inclusion on the UNESCO World Heritage List underscores its importance as a cultural and architectural treasure, as well as its role in promoting peace and reconciliation. Number 9. Meteora Meteora, located in central Greece, is extraordinary for its vertiginous monasteries set atop towering rock formations. These geological marvels, formed over millions of years from weathering and earthquakes, create a landscape of immense natural beauty and spiritual solitude. Established in the 14th century, the monasteries of Meteora were built by monks seeking refuge in isolation, accessible only by ladders and ropes. Today, Six of these monasteries remain active, serving as a testament to the Byzantine monastic tradition and offering visitors a glimpse into the ascetic life of the monks who reside there. The architecture of the monasteries is a remarkable adaptation to the natural environment, with buildings constructed around the contours of the rocks. Inside, they house priceless collections of manuscripts, icons, and religious artifacts, preserving the cultural and religious heritage of the Orthodox Christian tradition. Meteora's inclusion in the UNESCO World Heritage List highlights its dual significance as a natural and cultural monument. The site represents a unique harmony between human faith and the natural world, attracting thousands of visitors annually who come to marvel at its landscapes and spiritual history. Number 8. Dubrovnik Old Town Dubrovnik, often referred to as the Pearl of the Adriatic, is distinguished by its remarkable old town encircled by formidable stone walls constructed between the 11th and 17th centuries. This UNESCO World Heritage Site in Croatia exemplifies a well-preserved medieval urban landscape, boasting an array of Gothic, Renaissance, and Baroque churches, monasteries, palaces, and fountains. Dubrovnik's strategic maritime position fostered its development as a significant Mediterranean sea power from the Middle Ages onwards. The city's layout reflects the need for defense and trade, with its main street, Stradun, linking the western entrance, Pile Gate, to the eastern gate, Plos Gate. Landmarks such as the Sponza Palace and the Rector's Palace illustrate the city's historic affluence and cultural sophistication. Dubrovnik's fortifications, including the impressive Minseta Tower and Fort Lovrijanak, offer panoramic views of the Adriatic Sea and serve as a testament to the city's strategic military importance. Dubrovnik's Old Town is not just a historical site, but also a vibrant cultural hub, hosting numerous festivals and events that celebrate its rich heritage. Its preservation as a UNESCO site underscores the universal value of its architectural and historical legacy, attracting visitors worldwide to experience its timeless beauty. Number 7. Prague Prague, the capital of the Czech Republic, is celebrated for its exceptional historic core, which spans over a thousand years of architectural development. This UNESCO World Heritage Site is characterized by its well-preserved layout, showcasing a blend of Gothic, Renaissance, Baroque, and Art Nouveau buildings. 
Central to Prague's historical significance is the Prague Castle, an ancient symbol of Czech statehood and the seat of political and religious power since the 9th century. The city's historic center includes the Old Town, the Lesser Town, and the New Town, notable for their beautiful squares, narrow streets, and numerous historic buildings. The Charles Bridge, dating back to the 14th century, is one of Prague's most iconic structures, providing a pedestrian link between the Old Town and the Lesser Town across the Voltava River. The Old Town Square, with the astronomical clock, is another focal point, offering an insight into Prague's vibrant urban life throughout the centuries. Prague's architectural and urban coherence, along with its rich cultural heritage, make it a prime example of urban continuity and development. Its inclusion on the UNESCO World Heritage List highlights its global significance as a cultural and historical monument, drawing visitors to experience its unique charm and beauty. Number six, Stonehenge. Located on Salisbury Plain in Wiltshire, England, Stonehenge is one of the most famous prehistoric monuments in the world. This UNESCO World Heritage Site consists of an outer ring of Sarsen standing stones, each around 13 feet high, seven feet wide, and weighing approximately 25 tons, topped by connecting horizontal lintel stones. Inside this circle are five trilithons, pairs of larger sarsen stones with a third stone across the top. Numerous burial mounds surround the structure, hinting at its use as a burial site from as early as 3000 BC. Archaeologists believe Stonehenge was constructed in several stages, with the earliest known structure being a circular ditch and bank, dating back to about 3100 BC. The stone circle itself was erected in the late Neolithic period, around 2500 BC. While its precise purpose remains a subject of debate, theories suggest it served as a temple aligned with solar phenomena, an astronomical observatory, or a sacred burial ground. Stonehenge's sophisticated construction techniques and its alignment with the solstices highlight the astronomical knowledge and spiritual significance it held for prehistoric peoples. Its enduring mystery and archeological significance make it a pivotal site for understanding Britain's prehistoric culture. Number five, Kremlin and Red Square. The Kremlin and Red Square, located at the very heart of Moscow, Russia, are emblematic of the country's political and historical narrative. This UNESCO World Heritage Site comprises the Kremlin, a historic fortified complex that has been the seat of power for Russian rulers, and Red Square, the country's most famous public space. The Kremlin's walls and towers, dating back to the 15th century, enclose palaces, churches, and government buildings representing various architectural styles from the 15th to 20th centuries. Red Square is bordered by significant landmarks, including the ornate St. Basil's Cathedral with its iconic onion-shaped domes, the State Historical Museum, Lenin's Mausoleum, and the luxurious gum department store. The square has been the scene of numerous historical events, from military parades to political demonstrations, reflecting the tumultuous history of Russia. The ensemble of the Kremlin and Red Square is significant for its representation of Russian art and architecture, as well as its influence on the historical and cultural development of Russia and the world. It stands as a testament to the country's complex history, from the Tsarist regime through the Soviet era to the present day. Number four, Cappadocia. Situated in central Turkey, Cappadocia is renowned for its extraordinary landscapes formed by volcanic eruptions followed by erosion creating a fairy tale terrain of rock formations known as fairy chimneys. This UNESCO World Heritage Site encompasses a region of exceptional natural wonders, including valleys, canyons, and distinctive rock formations, alongside a rich human history that has ingeniously adapted to the challenging environment. The area is dotted with homes, churches, and entire cities carved out of the soft rock, dating back to the Hittite era through early Christianity and the Byzantine period. The Gurum National Park at the heart of Cappadocia showcases this remarkable blend of natural and cultural heritage with rock-hewn chapels and monasteries adorned with frescoes depicting Christian themes. The underground cities of Derinkuyu and Kaimakli which could house thousands of people along with their livestock and food stores, highlight the region's historical strategic significance and the inhabitants' ability to adapt to threats. Cappadocia is not only a testament to the natural beauty and cultural ingenuity of the region, but also a prime example of human resilience and creativity in adapting to the environment. Its unique landscape continues to attract tourists and scholars alike, fascinated by its geological, historical, and cultural richness. Number three, Mont Saint-Michel. This island commune in Normandy, France, 
stands as a striking example of medieval architecture and strategic fortification. This UNESCO World Heritage Site is renowned for its Benedictine Abbey, which dominates the island's skyline, and its unique tidal phenomenon that can isolate the commune from the mainland. The construction of the abbey began in the 11th century and continued over several centuries, showcasing a remarkable blend of Romanesque, Gothic, and flamboyant Gothic architectural styles. The island's strategic location at the mouth of the Kuznan River made it a site of military significance and a symbol of French national identity, especially during the Hundred Years' War. The winding streets and fortified walls of the medieval town below the abbey reflect the complex history and architectural development of Mont Saint-Michel over the millennia. Mont Saint-Michel's unique natural setting, combined with its architectural beauty and historical importance, has made it a pilgrimage site for centuries. Today, it continues to captivate visitors from around the world, offering insights into medieval religious life, architectural innovation, and the enduring human spirit. Number two, Acropolis of Athens. The Acropolis of Athens is an ancient citadel located on a rocky outcrop above the city of Athens, Greece, and is renowned for its architectural and historical significance. This UNESCO World Heritage Site houses the remains of several ancient buildings of great architectural and historic value, the most famous being the Parthenon. Constructed in the 5th century BC during the Golden Age of Athens, the Parthenon is a temple dedicated to the goddess Athena, whom the people of Athens considered their patron. Other significant structures on the Acropolis include the Erechtheion, a complex marble building known for its caryatid porch, the Temple of Athena Nike, dedicated to the goddess of victory, and the Propylia, the grand entranceway to the Acropolis. These monuments are exemplary of ancient Greek art and architecture and symbolize the achievements of classical Athens in democracy, philosophy, and arts. The Acropolis, stands as a testament to the creativity and power of the ancient Greeks and continues to be a symbol of the cultural and political achievements of the Western civilization. Its preservation and study offer invaluable insights into ancient history, architecture, and mythology, drawing millions of visitors and scholars every year. Number one, Alhambra. The Alhambra, located in Granada, Spain, is a stunning complex of palaces, courtyards, and gardens, embodying the zenith of Moorish art and architecture in the Iberian Peninsula. This UNESCO World Heritage Site was primarily built during the mid-14th century under the Nasrid dynasty, showcasing the Islamic culture's sophistication and aesthetic sensibilities before the Christian Reconquista. The Alhambra's name, meaning the red one in Arabic, refers to the red clay used in its construction, which glows red at sunset. The Alhambra served as a royal residence, court, and fortress. Its architecture is a blend of the delicate beauty and power, with the Palace of the Lions and the Court of the Myrtles being prime examples of Islamic architectural innovation and art. The preservation of the Alhambra allows for a deep appreciation of Moorish culture and its lasting influence on Spanish heritage. It stands as a testament to the historical confluence of Islam, Christianity, and Judaism in Spain, offering insights into the complexity and richness of Andalusian history. And there you have it, folks, the 10 must-visit UNESCO World Heritage Sites in Europe. Let us know in the comments which of these places you would like to visit. And don't forget to like this video, turn on your notifications, and subscribe to our channel for more travel videos like this. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.